Osage County is a beautiful tapestry of Native American heritage. World-renowned artist Che Tullis has left an indelible mark on his hometown of Hominy, Oklahoma. I love to paint, I love to sculpt, I love to, I love to make jewelry. I hand select each piece. Everything from rings to pendants to earrings. It's you know, almost you, like a gallery in the store. And a museum, yeah. Have people from all over the world, yeah. His love for art began as a toddler when a family member commissioned Che's first painting. Five bucks and you're two years old and candy bars are, I think they were a nickel back then and I bought all the candy bars I could possibly buy. Made me sicker than snot, but I, uh, I thought, man, I can buy candy bars forever if I just paint a painting every day. He has since created several thousand pieces of art. I actually have one family that's been shopping with me for five generations. They'll come in and say, my grandmother has a painting of yours and I'd like something similar. But Che's magnum opus is not in his downtown gallery. It actually overlooks it. The Mount Rushmore of Osage County. Mount Rushmore of, of Osage County? That's it. Work, works for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually titled New Territory more than a dozen giant steel sculptures on the hill over Hominy. I walk to the top of the hill every day for probably six months, three or four weeks just to clean the hill. Chief Kobe Surrett. Yeah, they need the Hominy Fire and Rescue. Here, brush on in here. Navigated waist high weeds and chiggers to take me to new territory. That's pretty neat. <laughs> It really is impressive. Okay, so I'm just about six feet tall. To the tip of the spears has got to be 20 feet. With the help of the highway department, each sculpture was set in place using two tons of concrete. All by hand, wheelbarrow and, you know, you couldn't get a, a cement truck up there, so we had to mix it all by hand. Completed in 1997, his work attracted 250,000 tourists a year. Traffic has slowed down since then, but Che Tullis has not. Big or small, he still creates something every single day. And then these he had to cut. Is there one uh, that you're most proud of? It's always my next one. I'm done with it once it's finished. He hopes his work will have a lasting impact and inspire the next generation of Native American artists. Someone else here in town is welcome to start another project and and put their mark on the on the town. So, um, yeah, I hope it's here forever. I'm Lance West, getting lost in Oklahoma.